Okay, this video is going to show everybody how to um, enter information into the time clock if you are a salaried employee. So you're going to log into your time clock. It's going to take you to this screen, and this is not the screen you want to enter anything in. This allows you to hit a clock in, um, but you don't want to clock in. That's not going to achieve what you're wanting to do. So when you get to the screen, you actually want to go here to this time card change request. This is where you're going to enter in hours. So you'll see here, this is that clock in time and it did nothing. It gives us a zero hours. So what you actually want to do is you want to come down here to one of these fields, choose your date. You're going to come over here to the entry and you're going to choose hours. Now you can say, okay, I need two hours of pager and then you save your changes. Um, if you want to do vacation, it's the same thing. Majors only one <laughs> Hours. Vacation. Eight. And save. So that's how you're going to add on information. So as a reminder, pager dollars, or pager, it's one hour to one day. So if you're on call for a weekend, you're going to do um, two hours. But that would equal two days. If you're uh, doing on call, practitioner on call, this is going to be strictly the number of hours that you were on call and hit save. And that is how you do your time clock.